Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. For today's DIY, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Sweet Pick and Smoke Paint. We just recently added it to our online store at jamierayvintage.com. I have a couple other videos, but I thought it was about time that I busted out some milk paint. So I'm gonna give you some basic information, along with some pros and cons of milk paint and chalk paint, to let you know why I carry both and I use both all the time. All right, guys, so here is my piece. It was found on the side of the road by a good friend of mine. Everybody knows when you love junk, so she sent me a message. It was like, hey, I have this old farm cabinet that I found on the side of the road. Do you want it? I'm like, heck yes, I want that. So Zeb and I picked it up from her house like at, I don't know, 9.30 at night because we had to get it and that was the soonest we could get there. And it's awesome. It's got this amazing original beat board. It's got a crackle finish that's kind of already there. So when I milk paint it, it's gonna look even more amazing. But it's huge and I did not want to brush the entire thing and although I hear you can spray milk paint I've never done it successfully so what I did was I went ahead and chalk painted the inside because I can run that through my sprayer and this whole inside all these shelves everything we primed it and painted it and you can see there's actually like a bunch of bleed through coming through and Sometimes I seal that with shellac, but in this case, I want it to look old and aged, so it really works with it. So I just went ahead and sprayed the whole inside, and I'll probably distress it a little bit and then be done with it. But the outside, I want to be super chippy, so the outside is getting the milk paint. So kind of my rule of thumb when I'm deciding what to use, because both products work great for pretty much anything is if I'm painting something small or something that I want to look naturally chippy that I don't mind brushing by hand then I use milk paint because I feel like that's the perfect opportunity if I've got a big piece or I want something to be super neat then I spray it with chalk paint but just because milk paint is chippy doesn't mean it always has to be chippy because you can add extra bond to milk paint and it will stay super solid and won't chip off at all. And same thing with chalk paint. Just because it goes on super smooth and doesn't naturally chip, you can get the chippy effect if you distress it and sand it down with a rotary, it's just a different look. Or you can do the technique with the Vaseline um, that I have a video on, so that will put the link below. So you can get any look with both paints, but I kind of just think if I want it to be super chippy, I use milk paint. And then if I want it to be a more controlled or it's a larger piece, then I use chalk paint because then I can spray it through my gun. So that's just why I use one or the other. And sometimes mates just how I'm feeling and what colors I want to use. So for this outside, we're going to be using milk paint. I use Sweet Pickett's milk paint and I mixed it 50-50 with Sweetie Jane and Pantry Door. And I'm going to show you what I mixed it in. Okay, so I've got my spaghetti jar inside here. I have one part Sweetie Jane to one part Pantry dar Door. Sorry, I can't even say that. Pantry Door. And then I have two parts water. So it's still one part milk paint, one part water. I just mixed it 50-50 with the two colors because I didn't want it super green and I didn't want it super blue. I wanted it somewhere in the middle. I've got my blender bottle whisk from my blender bottle in here and then I'm just gonna shake this up until it mixes all the way through. You don't want any chunks. And then once it's all the way shook, which takes a few minutes, you're just gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes for the bubbles to come down and you're ready to paint. Another way that you can mix it up is just use a regular whisk or use an immersion blender. Okay, so since I'm doing a super chippy look, I didn't add any extra bond. If you didn't want your paint to chip, you could use milk paint and then add extra bond and there's directions on the bottle so it tells you exactly what to do. There's also directions on the bag. So if you order this from my website and you forget everything I just said, all the information is clearly labeled on the back of the bag and it's easy to use. So I'm using my round zipper brush because it's one of my favorites and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This piece I didn't clean super, super well just because I want it to chip. And I'm hoping, we'll see what it looks like, that it looks just like an old cabinet that's been worn with time.
our cabinet is all finished. The outside is done with Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Pantry Dora. We did two coats of milk paint. I didn't add any extra bond because I wanted it super chippy and the wood was already really dry. But if it had been shiny, I would have had to add some extra bond just so it didn't all flake off. And then we sanded it with just a hand sander and then it just naturally chipped off to this amazing look. It looks like it's been painted years and years ago except for it was just painted a few days ago. It's ready to be sealed. I haven't decided what I'm gonna seal it with, so it won't be in this video, but I'm thinking oil wax is what I'm gonna use. I'll have a link below to my last video I did with oil wax so you can kind of see how that goes on. It's really easy to put on and gives it a really durable, nice, hard finish. The next part, I'm gonna show you the inside. It's got great organization. Um, it's not pretty, I didn't organize it to look super awesome, but Inside I've got like all of my stuff I sell online, things I need to list. I've got my milk paint, chalk paint samples, corbels that are in stock. This is really going to help me keep all of my stuff that I need to keep organized in one place and it still looks great in my living room and I can shut it all in. The inside was painted with fairy chalk mother and snowflake so you can kind of see how that goes on. We just sprayed it on with our sprayer. We've got lots of videos on how to spray paint. And I didn't distress it or anything, I'm just going to leave it just like this. Alright guys, so if you want to purchase what was used today, go to jamierayvintage.com. Look for Sweet Pickets Milk Paint and Pantry Door. Oil Wax, because we talked a little bit about that. And also look for Fairy Chalk Mother and Snowflake, that's what we painted the inside for. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.